Welcome to Labmins.com in our lab video series on Cisco 9800 Wise Line Controller. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of the 9800 controller videos, you can visit our website under the wireless section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. To be honest with you, I didn't really plan to have our first video of our 9800 Wise Line Controller advanced video series to be a software upgrade video. But because Cisco just released the next major version, which is 17.1, and then followed by another minor release of a 17.2, it would not make sense for us to continue with our lab on 16.12. That way we can test the latest and greatest of the software, including some of the bug fixes. So here we are in a lab here. We are going to spend first half of our video talking about software maintenance update. And then in the second half, we're going to go through a process of upgrading our wireless system to iOS XE version 17.2. The AROS video counterpart for this is WL0002, WLC Software Upgrade. In our lab setup, we've got a Cisco 9800CL wireless LAN controller named LMWLC1, currently running a software version 16.12.2S, I believe. Connect it on our VLAN 32 with the IP address on its wireless management interface of 32.104. VLAN 32 is a server VLAN, so we have another server called Windows 2019 Domain Controller, or DC1. Right? That's a domain controller, DNS, and certificate authority server at the IP of .40. We do have three wireless access points that we need to upgrade in this lab, and they are LMAP1, 2, and 4. And they're all connected to VLAN 64 off of the core switch switch one. So that is the system that we're dealing with in this lab. With that, let's go ahead and jump onto our Windows 2019 RDP jump box right here. Let's go ahead and grab startup config of the controller. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is software maintenance update or SMU in shot, as people like to call it. Historically, if you need bug fixes, critical system updates, or support for new access point model, you need to wait for Cisco to release a new software image and update your entire wireless system. Not only that it can take time for the next software release to come out, the upgrade process itself can be disruptive as well. So the SMU addresses this issue by allowing you to apply a software patch to a specific need without having to upgrade the entire wireless system. Not only Cisco can release these patches faster, but the update process can actually be hitless. And there are three types of SMU available for the 9800 controller. The first is for the controller patch, the second is for AP patch, and then the third is for supporting new AP models. Right, and we're going to be looking at each one of these in this order. We said that the controller SMU is for back fixes and PCERT. There are actually two types of controller SMU that we have. One is called hot patching, and the second is called cold patching. The hot patching can be done while the controller is online, as it does not require a controller reload, so it is certainly not disruptive. On the other hand, the cold patching requires a reload, but you can still somewhat avoid downtimes if you have high availability. So let me show you how to perform a controller smooth installation. 